Day 10, cycling across the USA from Miami to LA, all to raise money for the fantastic cause, Get Kids Going. Today's ride is from Bonifay to Crestview, and we're very, very tired. We've done 10 days of riding, and we're still in Florida. That's how you do it. I wasn't going to figure out how you got his hair. Ski straps. You guys have to travel again. Your voice. Beautiful voice. It's like TV. You're living and staring on it. You're going to make a U-turn with wide road. He comes along and he picks up the front of the bike and just slowly moves me around. Okay, okay. Day 10, cycling across America, which uh, feels kind of exactly like how I'd expect cycling across America to feel. Funny that, isn't it? Yeah. Starting off today with a massive climb. Your favourite. I know, right? When you're not warm and you've been riding for 10 days. We've done over 600 miles so far. Me and Justin both agree that mornings are starting to get harder now. I woke up and feel like I've been hit over the head with a hammer. It's cold this morning, which is a bit weird. Maybe we climatized, but spirits are high. It's funny how you'd be feeling a bit down on a trip like this, and then we met people downstairs who completely lifted our spirits. Again, I don't want to curse it, tailwind. 85 kilometers on this road to come. I'd like to take this morning to say a big thank you and give a shout out to Attica Cycling, who are my mates who make cycling kit. If you ride bikes and you fancy some new kit, head over to their website where some of the stuff is up to 80% off. You can get a jersey like this. Or a jersey like this. Even good for hand cyclists. Link in the description down below. Thank you to them for supporting our trip. I feel like we're in a film. It's amazing, isn't it? You can buy cowboy boots over there. Do not buy me a present in here. Why? Because cowboy boots are a really heavy present. You can just wear them when you ride. The man said you want square-toed ones, not pointy-toed ones, otherwise your feet will get squashed. Chicken quesadilla, add the no beef. Thank you. It's spicy. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That's massive. You can get a fajita ice cream here. I'm struggling to imagine what that is. It's behind you, fajita's ice cream zone. I don't understand, it looks like a corn on the cob with a stick in it. What are you doing? Preventative measures. Ah. Although it's not really preventative anymore. It's just measures <laughs> any attempt at curing things. Your arm's sore? My arm's all right. My deltoid on my shoulders are not Different part of the arm. It's fine. We ordered too much food again, Justin. <laughs> yep, but you still managed to eat every single bit of it. <laughs> I'm gonna use this hand. <laughs> Do you know what's really good about American hotels? What? They all have ice. Oh yeah! Yeah! Let's go and get some ice. Let's go get some ice. Yeah. It's only another 50 kilometers away. <laughs> said it once, I'll say it again. Mexican restaurants, always the best place to stop. It's exactly the kind of food that you want when you're on a trip like this. Rice, beans, avocado. And they have that Coca-Cola that they sell in a glass bottle that tastes way better. Unfortunately, still got a headache. And Justin is struggling big time with an arm injury. So we're rolling along as fast as we can. We're gonna get to our accommodation tonight and make a plan. Things may have to be adjusted. Doing a uh, 90 mile day tomorrow might have to wait. You're one handed now, you're going all right. <laughs> that Dollar General truck gave us so much space. Clearly, they saw yesterday's episode and they just want to be featured in a positive light. <laughs> Thanks, Dollar General. Hey, Francis. Hey, mate. How you doing? Yeah, all right, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. You just pedal with one arm now? Pretty much. I thought about 60k of this today. Occasionally I use my hand as a stabilizing thing, but then I realize how much it hurts and I stop. Another beautiful view. And now the only little bit of green that I could see is blocked by you riding next to me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bye. Another 100k down. Another 100k. Why is the short day 100k? I don't know. I think we're both really needing that rest. Scheduling again, having won the right to wear pants, she wore a dress to say F you to the judge. When's your birthday, Francis? August 9th. 
Can we see all this now? Oh, it's about the Manson family murders. This is interesting. I just got it, so I have only read a few pages. <laughs> but apparently he has a volume one and a volume two. I'm not sure what, which one this is. So we've got a, a medium-sized problem. Justin has a fairly severe shoulder injury, which means he ended up pedaling for 60 kilometers with one arm today. What a lot of people haven't considered is that when Justin finishes a ride, he's been using his arms all day, then finishes and still has to use his arms to do everything. And I think that often gets overlooked when you're watching these videos. He still has to push himself around. He still has to lift things up. Whereas if you ride a bike like I do, you just rest your legs. This means the injury is particularly problematic. So we're having an emergency rest day here in Crestview. Crestview. If this challenge was easy, there would be no reason to donate. And we are doing this all for a fantastic charity called Get Kids Going. They supply equipment and grants to disabled children to get access to stuff like Justin's handbike, wheelchairs, anything you need to get into sport. We haven't checked the donation page in a couple of days because we've been busy cycling across America. Shall we check it? I think we should. Just giving Crossing USA. <laughs> We're gonna have to raise the target again. We're gonna have to raise the target again. <laughs> Thirty-seven thousand four hundred sixty-nine pounds by nine hundred and thirty-two people. Pounds. I say the most amazing thing for me is that there's nine hundred and thirty-two people that have been supporting us. Like we said in a past episode, it's all of those five pounds, ten pounds, one pounds. They all add up to make a huge difference. And uh, well, I think I speak for both of us when we say we can't thank you enough. Thank you so much for the support. Amazing. You're gonna to have to eat a lot of very spicy chips. <laughs> if you haven't donated yet and you wanna check out the details, they'll be in the description down below. I think we better rest up and get this arm healed because we have a country to ride across. If I have to do it with one arm, I'll do it with one arm. We can always employ a bungee at the top of my bike and you can just drag me as well.